to stand up together for a stand-up L.A. car guy, Lance Bass, Ed Begley Jr., Wendy Malik, and Perry Reeves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are all standing together to do something never before attempted by working actors and performers. A free car commercial. And because we are extremely fond of our honoree, Mike Sullivan, I will start with my deeply personal car confession. I remember Debbie Levin telling me how much she adored her new Prius, and I told her it looked like an orthopedic shoe. <laughs> She saw that I would, if I would just open my heart, I would come to love my Prius. And she was right. That funny looking little shoe-like vehicle <laughs> won me over in an enormous way. Every time I drove her, I felt proud to be green, thrilled to get into that carpool lane, and grateful that Pri and other clean cars were becoming cool. That was the first of three hybrid cars I bought from the LA car guy and former surf dude, who actually I think is in this book about Topanga Beach experience. And I remain one satisfied customer. Thank you. Ed Begley Jr. is the incredibly lifelike. Big hand, please. As you know, I'll have a bike more than the next guy, but even I have to occasionally admit cars can come in handy at some point. I'm the OG for the EV1, but on the emotional rebound, I thought the very first Prius and I bought it, and I've never had, I've never not had one since. See how good I am with a prompter? I also bought an electric RAV4 and probably every hybrid variation from Mike, who I love. I'm very satisfied, but in a slightly less sexy way than Wendy. Thank you. Hart's not here. I'll fill in for Hart, and I will skip past him. Perry. Okay, I'm up, I'm up next. Hi, hi. So um, I still remember when I got uh, the call, when my first Prius was in, and that I had to come right away. It was Halloween, and I was so excited that I, I was actually told if I didn't come on that day, and I'm like, look, I'm getting ready to go to a party, and they said, you have to come right now, we're giving it away. And this was that year, that first year where that, with the shape that you now know was out, so it was, you know, I was 300 and something on the waiting list, and I got pushed to the front. So I rushed in, it was Halloween, and I was in my bat costume. <laughs> I thank Mike for all that he's done, and um, you're making all of the shift that we all have these clean cars, that they're accessible. You don't have to be on a waiting list anymore. You can just get one. And I'm, I, I'm on my second one. So I've had two in 15 years. So I like to drive them until they die. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm the newbie here. Wow, that's really loud. Um, I mean, I'm not an Emma newbie. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, it's been well over a decade that I've been dodging Debbie's stare as I try to run out of whatever car I was driving. Uh, that was not... Well, you know. Well, uh, yes, it took me a little while to get with the program, but as Emma's co-chair, I want to give you my solemn word that I'm all organic and local. I have my own edible garden, and I preach sustainability everywhere I go. Yay. It was really embarrassing, though. Every event, I would park a block away because <laughs> I didn't want people to see what car I was driving. It was awful. All right, so, uh, but now I'm ready for the deep dive. So ready to have my car reflect my commitment to our Earth. And in the next two weeks, I'm picking up my Mirai. That's right. <laughs> Hydrogen-fueled Mirai from the only L.A. car guy who's made going green look so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike <laughs> Sullivan. Well, first of all, the other three honorees eat your heart out. I clearly won the uh, uh, Presenter by Ensemble Award, so y'all have no chance at that. Uh, it's really interesting. A lot of the things that I do um, are really a bunch of little things, I think, and hopefully they aggregate up into something more meaningful, uh, whether it's uh, Robin and I living off the grid, driving off the grid most of the time. There's cars that aren't, but most. Um, 
uh, our beach cleanup days, green gardens, uh, delivering uh, nominees to the Academy Awards. Yeah, years ago in a Prius, we delivered everybody in, in 2003, in, not everybody, we delivered uh, uh, nine people to the Academy Awards. Uh, it was everybody to me. And it was, it was Harrison Ford, and it was a big deal. And um, we delivered him in Prius, and, and yeah, that car in 2003 was, was pretty weird for those of you that had a, a first-generation Prius. The Toyota table's even kind of ducking. Um, but it was a start, and Hollywood was a big part of, of, of us telling that story. Talk, Debbie talks about storytelling all the time. And, and Hollywood, and my link to, to you all, was, was a big part of telling that story and making um, sustainable cars cool. Uh, science fairs at the dealership, uh, building lead, cent uh, uh, lead certified buildings, and just conservation kind of at all levels. Uh, it, I, I, I really see my job as simply uh, someone who's, it's, it's my job to make things easy to change, make it easier for you all to change, make it not uh, a fight where, like, like most people have with change. Um, so th things like those charging stations and stuff 20, you know, 15 years ago where uh, <laughs> me and Ed used them and that was it. Um, I've been lucky to have uh, some great mentors over the years. Clearly, our Debbie, uh, uh, Ed Bagley, uh, Mark Gold, Matt Peterson, and a host of others. Uh, thank you guys. I'd like to thank my car partners, Toyota and Lexus, uh, the table over here, uh, Toyota and Lexus for being such a great, genuine partner for years. And that, that Japanese culture goes back so far to doing things right for you know, the next generation. We talk about short-term solutions are 50 to 75 years, long-term solutions are 100 years. And it's, it's a genuine attitude at Toyota, it's a pleasure. Um, but Toyota and Lexus, Volkswagen, Porsche, Audi, Subaru, and my newest partners, Honda. So thank you guys. Uh, the video, the video showed my real motivation um, for Robin, Sean and Paige, Kelly and Veronica, Megan and Chris, uh, my whole LA car guy family in the back. And the big one, those three uh, plus one on the way, beautiful little grandbabies that were in the video. There was a third one in there, his little arms were all you could see. But uh, 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 Landon, Curran and Luke, and hopefully Hazel, for the next one. Uh, no pressure, Megs, it was my mom's name, so a little inside joke here, so we'll see. But anyway, but thank you all for, for this, this great honor. Debbie and everybody at EMA, thank you all. Thanks.